Does the New Mexico Public Regulation Commission have jurisdiction over ride-sharing services like Lyft? That was the question this afternoon in Santa Fe during a hearing before the PRC. Unfortunately, though, that question remains unanswered tonight. The PRC had issued a cease and desist order against Lyft in May. It just launched in Albuquerque in April. The company faces potential fines for allegedly violating state law. Lyft and its competitor Uber are ride-sharing services that match drivers with people who need a ride. Those companies face opposition from traditional cab companies that have to follow strict requirements. Well, today the PRC transportation director said he believes Lyft is a motor carrier and not just a service that matches up drivers and riders. I did not request a ride from uh, Greg or you know, whatever the driver's name was. Um, and also the receipt that I received for those rides indicated that uh, it was Lyft that I paid for those rides. Last month, the PRC agreed to create a new framework for companies like Lyft and Uber. The Lyft government relations manager today told the PRC the laws in New Mexico need to catch up with business. We're not anti-regulation, but um, given the nature of our model and the way it differs from existing forms of transportation, it's just important that regulation or legislation be tailored to the way uh, the ride sharing operates. Sorry for that audio. He says that they're not anti-regulation, but given the nature, it differs from the existing forms of transportation. It's important the law gets in line with that. Now, that Lyft rep said since starting operations here, the company has not gotten any compensation from New Mexico. All the money from rides has completely gone to the drivers, and that will continue at least until the end of the year. Now, the PRC today also decided to push back a decision on Uber, saying the decision on Lyft will have implications for both companies.